Dog. Hello everybody, it's Corner the Great. Uh, back with another game. New Let's Play starting. Just hit the intro button. I actually haven't seen this myself, but I have played this game before. It's a game known as Prison Architect. Now the game is in alpha, and it's uh, on pre-release on Steam, or early access. And hopefully it doesn't make me go through this tutorial. Um, but it, the game was actually just recently updated, I believe, yesterday to Alpha version 16. Um, the game is... they've added a bunch of new features in the update, and essentially it's a prison tycoon game. You build the prison, you get everything working, you can make cells and everything, you can choose what type of prisoner you have, um, whether it be minimum security, maximum, or like normal security, and um, I'm thinking that we'll go through. Now the game, you can build a prison, you start with $10,000, you can build a prison, and then you can sell that prison, and let me just get out of this if I can. Um, you can build a prison, and then when you sell it, that money goes into the next one. So say I build my $10,000 prison and I sell it for $50,000, the next prison I start with, I'll have 60000 because I'll add the previous total plus 10000 So I'm thinking for goal for this one, it could just be a short series, but for now, we'll try to get to 500000 for our starting uh, amount. So we do not want continuous intake, we do not want fog of war, and we'll we'll put buildings and forests. These are two, all three new features: uh, lakes, buildings, and forests. Lakes are experimental, and that sometimes they can actually make your prison uh, unbuildable. Now, this is the first time that I've played the game since this uh, update's been out, but I do I, I've played probably at least 20 hours before this. Um, these forests and buildings are actually brand new features, and uh, it doesn't seem like we have any buildings that will be worth anything. Um, here's our garbage and deliveries. Trucks, uh, these are going to drop off our workers. Um, but trucks will stop and make deliveries here at this delivery spot. And we have to build everything from the foundations up. So, I'm thinking right away, we'll go into planning mode here. We'll pause the game, and we'll just, we'll say nice and easy. Um, we'll have wall right here will go 35 meters out. This is going to be a small prison because we're not going to have that much space to build with. We'll do 35 by... Is that 35? Yeah, we'll do a nice square. Um, okay, not quite a nice square. It's a little rectangular. But we'll do, we'll do it like that. Um, and we can cross the road as well. We'll just do fences on this side of the road because they recently added road gates. So I'll put those in place. They are um, gates that they're brand new and only um, like they allow vehicles to come in. Before you couldn't secure your road, so if anyone got under the road, they were free. Um, but now you can put these road gates and only your guards can open them. Um, I'll let them work on that. And I'm thinking. Uh, let's put fences out, like right around here. Fences are free, so um, for the time being I'll just put as many as I can, or as many as I need to. Um, and then I don't expect to have a big prison, because it is just starting out. So let me go back into the planning. We could have our entrance here, right? Yeah, we'll have our entrance here. Oh, we just need a nice small entrance. Take that out. And then we'll build down this way. A ways. 16 meters. That doesn't work that way. Uh, didn't really think about that one. <laughs> um, we'll just go down two from the fence. One, two. Put it in. And then we'll go back. One, two, and we'll take, no, we'll take this part of the wall. 
Now, this will be the entrance to the prison, so we can look at the rooms real quick. There's cells, which you put your prisoners in. There's holding cells, which you can put multiple prisoners in, but they'll be more unhappy. Um, now, that's like when you're booking them, you can put them in there. There's solitary cells. Um, those are, you know, if a prisoner attacks someone, you can just throw them in there. Just say, hey, what the hell are you doing? Canteens, these are the, like, cafeterias. That's where they'll eat. Kitchens are where you make the food for the canteen. Showers are where showers the yard is where they can get exercise storage rooms are where your workers will put stuff from the deliveries area deliveries areas are where the stuff gets dropped off garbage is where they take garbage from the prison so like broken stuff or uh, old food execution room we won't use one of those but you can basically kill someone in one a workshop uh, you can have workers work in there and they'll make um, license plates and now they'll turn trees into planks and you can sell those as well security office for your uh, CCTV monitors office is for like your warden and your um, everybody uh, accountants lawyers an infirmary for uh, wounded uh, guards and prisoners and other workers a morgue for the dead ones common room where they can just hang out it helps them be happy a uh, laundry room where you can also make them work and they'll create cre clean clothes that's nice visitation so they can talk to their family cleaning cupboard so they keep the prison clean um and this is a room that you can make the prisoners work in as well a kennel so that you can have guard dogs and a staff room for your staff to relax and goodness that was that's more than I was expecting to have to talk about so I'm thinking uh this side of the prison's a little bit smaller so we'll go ahead and we'll make this will be kind of a staff area down here now we we can't forget the utilities you do have to put in um a generator and some uh like water pumps so i'm thinking they'll both be outside because you know it doesn't really matter that much so that'll be generator and water um, and this we can do offices. Offices I know have to be four by four on the inside. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's a little. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like it when they don't line up well. It upsets me. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. These will be some offices along this bottom row. I'm thinking. And then I think we should be able to fit one more set right here. Just like this. Will that work? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's a little bit bigger than these offices are, but that doesn't matter too much. Um, we'll just do that. And there'll be doors there. Um... So that's four offices that'll give us enough for a war a doctor or not a doctor a guard a warden a chief a foreman an accountant we need one more but who knows um, I am one more big thing that I forgot about there's grants so you can accept these grants which I'm gonna accept them all and they'll give you tasks to do and some of them they'll give you all the money right off the bat see I just got eighty thousand dollars and then some of them they'll give you some more money off the bat and then they'll give you the rest when you finish it so sell so, okay if I get fifteen individual cells I'll get an extra ten thousand dollars to work with and they're, they're good incentives and I believe that further down the road they'll be adding more grants in which is pretty important so I'm th uh, cells have to be two by three on the inside, so that large. Oh, that's I need that to be walls. So I can just go ahead and this will be one of our areas for prisoners. Now the normal shipment is, as you can see up here, eight. Uh, that's the first one that you'll always get. Sometimes it'll end up being a little bit bigger. This will be a hallway to the next. Um, whatever it's called the next cell block when we expand out this way we can we can do more um and we'll do this and 
we could add more, a couple more cells. I don't want to add too many, just because this is the first prison, and I know that uh, we'll run out of money extremely quickly. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven cells right now. That'll work just fine. And then, in fact, we could make that a, this a solitary cell on the end. Uh, now we need a shower room, um, but I just might just make it a long right here and hope for the best. Give them all their individual shower heads, and then I could cut that. Yeah, it's the planning prisons is uh, it's no easy task. That's for sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this will be another office. They'll have to cut through someone else's office to get to it, but that doesn't matter. And then I'm thinking if we do our kitchen down here. And then the canteen down here. And then we do need a space for yard. So I'm thinking maybe if I do this. That can be yard space. That'll be double door to get into that. Double door to get into the kitchen. And we'll work off of that. I want to get building, so we'll go ahead and hit the foundations and build this initial building. Then we want to get working on it. It's just going to cost us a whopping $8,100. Get our power station and our pump station in place and then we'll get everything else th thought about almost couldn't say any of those words right there um, let's cancel auto saving sometimes it free scares me because I'm afraid that my game is freezing um, we'll cancel that fence and we'll do this for the yard space Um, and then you can also, you can have your workers, um, cut down those trees. So I'm not entirely, I think it's a dismantle object. And you can tell them, hey, cut down these trees, and then you can sell that. So I'll try that. I'll just have them cut down all the ones near us. Hopefully it doesn't get, I think that it might be a bug right now that it'll get rid of the fence. But if we're lucky, that won't happen. Yeah, so these guys are cutting down logs, and then they'll stack them, and it'll all be good. I don't know what they do with tree stumps, though, so... I think that they just dig it up and throw it away. So as this all gets going, we can come in, and there's a lot of stuff that you can do right now, even in its early alpha stage. So, we do need a staff room. Not sure where we're going to put that. Um, I will hire the warden now and just move him down here. Just so that I can say that I have him. Um, Cell-wise, we can almost get ready to start building. This is, um, this is the lengthiest part of it, is just building all the beginning stuff. It requires an entrance, so let's go ahead and puts a jail door right here at this entrance and down here at this entrance and then we need a staff door somewhere so that they can get in and out easily but we'll figure that out later right now though I just want to get the the building up which it looks like it should be done there we go now we have a full building and they'll have to install some lights and I'll tell I'll get them I'll start building my walls and then I'll set up the um the electrical inside the building now the planning phase is or the planning stuff is really nice just because you can pause the game and have it do all that without having to worry about um anything happening uh, in terms of time running out or like prisoners escaping while you're planning on building another cell block which that may have happened to me once or twice 
but I don't plan on it happening again anytime soon. I'm thinking to end this episode, we'll probably, you know, get everything set up, and then um, the next episode we'll move in prisoners, because I don't think that we need them right now. Um, I want to get fences here, along that, and I want to get power into the, the prison. So I'll run a power cable along this way, and we'll run one down, and then across, and then up. <laughs> I'm not a... Uh, I'm not the best when it comes to doing this sort of thing. I do want to install some capacitors because we're going to very quickly blow a fuse. Okay, each capacitor gives you one little tick on this grid. So now we have two capacitors plus the power station, which gives us three. Now we'll have four and a fifth. And if that gets overloaded... And everything will shut off and you won't be able to get power back until you add in either more capacitors or a completely new um, like power station so let's add in some large jail doors no I don't want it there there and there we'll want a staff door that only the staff are able to move through there there and there and then I'm also thinking one to there and one to there. Uh, just because it's easier if you can have the staff move through these doors. Um, we can now start marking rooms as well. So I'll say this is the canteen. These are all cells. These are all cells. This is a kitchen. This is an office. This is an office. This is an office. This is an office. And this is an office. And actually, I'm going to make this office the, where is it, the staff room. Just because I need a staff room more than I need some other people. So when you build a room, there are certain requirements that need to be fulfilled. Um, for the canteen, it has to be indoors, it has to have a serving table, it has to have a table, and it has to have a bench. Um, and so, without those things, it won't be considered a complete room, and it won't be used. Also, cells need to have, uh, they need to be completely enclosed by walls and doors, they need to have a bed and a toilet. And that, obviously the minimum size. So, if we come through... We can go to objects, we can select a toilet, and I like to put the toilet right here on all my cells. They, I have a pretty f uniform cell design. This just helps make it uh, easy to get all the water and stuff too. And a lot of times, depending on... Put the cells at the back of the bed too, or at the back of the cell. Um, the bed's at the back of the cell. Goodness. Um, a lot of times I like to add in a TV into their cell just because I it keeps them more occupied and happy and that's very important because they love to uh, just go balls out and try to kill everybody and everything if they don't if they're not happy and that's something that I don't want to have to deal with so the serving table is where your cooks will place uh, stuff um, like uh, stuff like they'll place the food there um, that they make and then the prisoners will come and take trays and get their food. And they'll eat at their benches and tables. Which I like to set up. Bench. So I'll do bench, table, bench, bench, table, bench. For now. And hopefully there's... I won't have too many prisoners right now. Which in fact I need to turn off. By going to prisoners and hitting closed. Well, that, this means that I'm not taking in any prisoners right now. Um, the regime, you can set what your prisoners are going to do when, it is in a, uh, as well as how much food they'll get and how big of a difference the meals will be. So, like, one night you'll have fajita Fridays, and then the next night, if your meal variety is high, you'll have, like, pasta Saturdays or 
spaghetti Saturdays. Out, whereas if your meal variety is on low, it'll be uh, fajita Fridays and fajita Saturdays and fajita Sundays and sloppy Joe Mondays and then fajita Tuesdays and fajita Wednesdays. And then they get pissed. And, and it's generally not a good idea um, to have nothing <coughs> excuse me, happen just because the prisoners are very temperamental and they love to get mad and beat the crap out of each other and officers and it's generally something that you want to avoid. Let's just we'll work on these offices real quick. They need a filing cabinet, a office desk, and a chair. So once again, I have a pretty standard um, design, but with these ones, they're not normal offices for me, so I'll just kind of make it work however I can. The staff room, I believe, needs a sofa chair double and a drink machine. And usually I'll put in a TV as well, so we'll get a wide sofa right there, a TV across from it, and where's the soda? A drink machine. We'll put that up there. And then one more sofa down next to that. And we'll call it good. Now the prisoners, they, their yard needs to be ever like lit up and everything but we'll work on that in a little bit um the pump is fine let's get rid of this crap so utilities you can see everything if it's if an area is green it has a lot of power like so the l brighter green it is the more power is getting to it so down here there's not quite as much but that really shouldn't be a problem so for my piping, a large pipe will carry water anywhere, no matter what. But a um, a small pipe, it can only run water so far. So you're able to do rows like this, but anything else is generally a bad idea. You don't want to just overload everything with we're auto saving here with um, small pipes, just because they can stop working much quicker. Everything seems to be working right now, and our kitchen's good, our, everything here is good except for the cells. So once they put in the beds and the pipes, then I'll put in the cell doors, and we'll work on the yard. I guess I can do a little bit now, I can put some of the lights out in the yard just so that things stay lit up and we don't get lost. I'm also going to put some lights around my perimeter just to so that if any prisoners do manage to escape I can see them much easier uh, you can see how much more helpful it is having the light there and then we'll designate this whole area as a yard like that and we'll put I've learned it's good to have pay phones so that they can call family and um, payphones are also good in the bathroom or in the kitchen or the canteen and toilets in a lot of spots are good just because the way the regime works if you say hey this is going to be um, like eating time you they have to go in and eat and the way the game works right now they won't be allowed to leave but if you put like so sometimes they'll eat and they'll have to go to the bathroom and if they if you don't let them go to the bathroom they'll start to get really pissed at you so if you put in these um, like utilities um, into these areas where they're not normally at the prisoners will be much happier, much easier. Just because it's like if I send them out to the yard and all of a sudden one of them has to take a shit and he's not allowed to leave, he'll still be able to be in the yard and relieve that. And it, that helps tremendously when making your prisoners happy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on the jail doors. And it's almost going to be time to call it quits for this episode um, we're down to 58,000 out of our starting like 90,000 no prisoners yet but we have almost everything complete 
our workers are extremely busy right now. When we when I finish these cells, a new thing will pop up where it shows the first number would be the amount of prisoners and the second number is the amount of cells that I have. So right now I have zero prisoners and at this point eleven cells for them to use. Um, and I think for now we're gonna leave it at that. We have almost every basic. We need a shower and a holding cell and we will have the one of our contracts done, the basic detention center. But for now, um, I guess I'll see you guys later in the next episode. Have a great day. According to the great out.